Welcome again to this video clip series that I'm calling My Journey to God in a Very Secularized World. We're talking about, in particular, the, the help each other to, to recognize the traps of Satan, very powerful but hidden, so we don't fall into them and slowly lose our faith and our salvation. I'd like to read again, that we already read a couple times, but just to underline it and to see and, and, and understand this strategy, I'd like to read again the prophecy of St. Francis of Assisi, just a, a few paragraphs, a couple paragraphs that he said a few, a few days before he died. St. Francis said at that time, he says, the power of the demons, he's talking about in the future, our time, the power of the demons will be greater than usual. The immaculate purity of our religious community and of others will, will wither to the point that very few Christians will want to obey the true solv sovereign pontiff in the Roman Church with a sincere heart and perfect charity. At the decisive moment of the, this crisis, a personage, personage, personage not canonically elected raised to the pontificate will endeavor to administer, sh administer shrewdly to many the mortal poison of his error. Some preachers will keep silent about the truth and denying the truth they will trample upon the truth. The sanctity of life will be held in derision by those who only profess it outwardly and for this reason our Lord Jesus Christ will send them not a worthy pastor but a destroyer. And you can find also uh, information, more information uh, about this, this uh, what St. Francis was talking about in uh, several of my articles, such as art, an article, Is the Pope Catholic? The Greatest Schism in the Catholic Church History. Another article, Pope Benedict XVI Forced to Resign. Another article, Soon No More uh, Eucharist. And I'd like to now offer a few messages of, of Our Lady Queen of Peace from Anguera, Brazil, which is also proved by the local bishop that she warns her children about the su subtle and insidious strategy of Satan. <clears throat> Here's one message in 19... You can find all these in the article, so I'll just go quickly here. That she, uh, In this message here of 1998, she said, the great plan of the devil is to end the Eucharist and destroy the true meaning of the consecrated life. By accepting false doctrine, many will say that Jesus is just symbolically present, and with this the devil will drag a great number of consecrated people and faithful into error. Now is the time of great confusion. Whoever listens to me will never be deceived. Be careful. Pray. Love the truth and be like Jesus in everything. My son is really in the Eucharist, body and blood, soul and divinity. Those who teach the contrary are sent by the Antichrist. Pay attention. A another article she said, and this is 2007, she said, Few will remain solid in the faith, but by means of those few, God will give rise to great hope for his people. Another uh, message, <clears throat> she said, Dear children, days will come when men and women of faith will only find the Eucharist in secret places. There will be great persecution of Christians and everything will go back to being as in the time when my Jesus entrusted his church to Peter. Today your table is full, but the day will come when you will not find the precious food. The consecrated, the consecrated will drink the bitter cup of pain. <coughs> the ministers of my son who remain faithful will act as the beginning of Christianity. They will find help in the homes of the faithful and celebrate Holy Mass there. God will bring forth godly women like Nympha, a woman of faith, who welcomed the men of God and contributed to the growth of our community. Courage, do not retreat. 
Do not throw out the treasures that the Lord has granted you. Bend your knee in prayer. Another me that, that, that message was in 2017. Another message, the day will come when only men and women of prayer will withstand the weight of the trials that will come. You will be persecuted because of your faith, but the angels of the Lord will be with you. Those who remain faithful will experience great joy. Their care, take care of your spiritual life. Mankind has lost peace because men have turned away from the Creator. Repent and turn back. Be reconciled to God, and all will be well for you. I know your needs and will pray to my Jesus for you. I ask you to keep the flame of your faith alight. Seek strength in the Eucharist, for only thus will you be strengthened for this difficult time. Do not retreat. Whoever is with the Lord should not fear anything. Like John the Baptist, proclaim Jesus to all those who do not know him, and say that Jesus is the only hope for mankind. That also was in, in 2017. Another message, she says, Dear children, be faithful to Jesus. He needs your public and courageous testimony. The love of truth will lead the church of my Jesus to victory. Those who sow confusion will be defeated. Have courage, faith, faith, and hope. <coughs> I am your mother, and I am with you. Do not be discouraged. When all seems lost, the victory of God will come to you. Do not forget, in your hands, the Holy Rosary and the Sacred Scripture. In your heart, the love of, of truth. Get away from worldly things from the novelties of this world, and stay with the gospel of Jesus and the teaching of the true magisterium of the church. When you feel the weight of the cross, call for Jesus. In him is the assurance of your full happiness. Bend your knee in prayer. That was a message again in 2017. Another short message here, she says, Seek strength in the word of my Jesus and in the Eucharist. Your victory is in the Eucharist. Flee from sin and serve the Lord with joy. Again, another message, 2017. Here's another message. Those who love the truth will drink the bitter cup of suffering. They will be persecuted and thrown out. Be faithful. Your faithfulness to the Lord will make you grow spiritually. Do not retreat. You are the Lord's and Him alone should you follow and serve. I know each one of you by name, and I want to see you happy already here in, on earth, and later with me in heaven. Courage. My Jesus is in control and everything, and very close to you. Open your hearts, and you will be able to feel his love and his presence. Onward. Whatever happens, stay with the true, the true magisterium of the church of my Jesus. Again, message 2017. Another message here, Dear children, do not forget, the bread of the enemy is only bread. Body, blood, soul, and divinity are only in the Eucharist. Enemies will act to confuse the innocent and distort the truth. Be attentive. Stay with the true, the true magisterium of the church of my Jesus. Proclaim the truth. Do not remain motionless. The silence of the righteous strengthens the enemies of God. Bend your knees in prayer. Only by the power of prayer can you bear the burden of the trials that are already underway. I am your mother, and I have come from heaven to take you to heaven. Courage! Do not stray from the truth. The true commander knows how to lead his people to safe harbor. Those who deviate from the truth will not find salvation. Again, 2017. Dear children, everyone who rules in justice loves and defends the truth. You are living in a time when the ter terrors are growing in the midst of the wheat, but the Lord will separate out his chosen ones and they will be rewarded. What is built on falsehood will fall to the ground. In God there is no half truth. Be attentive. Bend your knees in prayer. 
My Lord leads you. Do not retreat. Give me your hands, and I will lead you to my son Jesus. Be meek and humble of heart, for only thus can you remain in the truth. Love the Lord, and let him lead your lives. Everything in this life passes, but the grace of God in you will be eternal. Do not forget, the silence of the righteous strengthens the enemies of God. Go forward in defense of truth. Courage. Nothing is lost. After all tribulation, the victory of God will come for the righteous. Rejoice. Your, your names are already inscribed in heaven. And another, I would like to... Uh, and, and right here, this video clip, may God bless you and Mary guide you.